hello guys welcome back in a long time since i have made a new video because i've been studying lately but i am applying to some remote work luckily i have uh, applied to a company and that's why i will share to you guys the uh, things that i have reviewed and studied during my a short time so let's begin uh, today is i will uh, show to you my review on typescript and mongodb api this is a rest api so let's start so here is here is the collection of my requests of the api the endpoints of the api it's just a uh, Simple CRUD on two models. Here is the people CRUD and the hobby. And also, there's a route for uh, updating the, P the hobbies of a certain person and also selecting that uh, hobbies. So let's go to the code. So here's just uh, got my basic template, I mean, of my main file in TypeScript. So I have just get this in my previous uh, video, which is the clean architecture of TypeScript. So here I have almost the same. So I have explained this almost, of, almost all in my previous video. So nothing new in there. Next is for the data. The data is here is the connection to the to the MongoDB server. We'll just wrap the text here. So now is I have I have deployed a MongoDB using Docker Swarm, which we, I will discuss also in the next videos. And it is also one of the things that I have studied recently. So here is I have deployed a uh, MongoDB that uses uh, authentication method as a connection string here. I have set a password here. So here is the connection string now in the Mongoose. I use the Mongoose package. <clears throat> here is in the ENB, just this side by side. So here in my env file is I just put the credentials. Here's the IP of my. Uh, I run the server here using the Oracle. Oracle VirtualBox, the IP. Then the port of my API running at. Then the name of the database, which is my test. Then the credentials, which is root and admin. So here's the connections thing. Uh, I just get this in the official docs of the mongoose. Then you must add these options, the auth source to the admin database. Then it's not necessary. I have tried the transactions in the transaction in the mongoose, the auto roll, rollback of the affected data when it counters an error. So it requires this option, but I removed that uh, function because it's not needed in this tutorial. Just basic code. So it's not necessary. You can remove this. So this is uh, this is for the connection to the database. You just made a function and return the connection and export the function. So for the models, just basic schema and model. So here is I just made an just I mean this is the people ski I mean per people schema so from the mongoose new schema then here is the field here are the fields so first name string last name string age number then I just made a like a one too many one per one person has many hobbies uh, relationship so here is the connection that an array of hobbies. Then the, the reference will be the hobby schema. I mean, uh, hobby 
police in the document or collection. You can just comment it out, guys, if I'm wrong in that part. So then, wait, uh, the model people with the schema, then export it. So it's just the same here in the hobby schema, just uh, one field, the name, name of the hobby. Then create the model, store here in this, I mean, in, in this uh, variable, then export. <clears throat> so that's it for the models. Then in the routes, is let me collapse, let me collapse this first. So just press Control K0 to do that. The shortcut here in VS Code. But if you want to open it all, just press Control KJ, KJ, like that. So here, press in the people, people route. Here's just simple uh, select all, then select a person. Here's the ID, the parameter ID of the person you want to get with his or her corresponding hobbies. Then get one person. Here also is the ID of the person you want. Then insert and patch. Then here is you want to, to update a certain person's hobby. Here is the delete route. So here is just same. So get all, then get one. The ID parameter here is the ID of the hobby. Then insert hobby. Oh, the comment is still wrong. Just, just give it yes. Then update, then delete. Here is I just made. And so in each route is, uh, I want to make it uh, like every time you request, you will connect to database. Then after connecting, you will uh, destroy the, your connection to that database. So it won't have a, all this, the connection won't be clogged, won't lag. So here is after query, people that find, then close the connection. So await new promise. There's an error, reject the error. Then return it as status 400 error. Then if nothing goes wrong, resolve may return the documents. And then pass this to this variable. Then return it with a status 200 and send, send the data. It's almost the same here. The querying part is you just locate in the Mongoose uh, website. The uh, documents, it is uh, very well documented, so easy to understand. Here, use the find one and update. Touching the hobbies. Delete is find one and delete. Find one and remove. Like you can find this all in the documentation. So almost same here. Almost same query. So that's it, guys, for our API. So let's give it a try in our Postman. So what I'm uh, testing here is currently I'm not running the API here my local uh, VS code this api is deployed in my server main local server using a uh, docker swarm so i will discuss this later in the uh, upcoming videos so let's uh, let me just show you guys so here guys this is the api deployed then I have MongoDB deployed here. So I have only one worker. This is the manager and one worker. So two replicas. Then I have uh, I have also new learnings, guys. The Swagger documentation, API documentation. So let me just... Uh, this, is, this is the documentation, guys, of the API that I have just made. Oh, the... Uh, let me get the YAML file. I'll put the link of the repository in the comment section, guys. So here's the YAML file of this Swagger. 
So let's get the row and paste the URL in this this field. So here is our route, guys. So it's for the documentation. So I will discuss this also. Uh, like, say, example, inserting a person. Here's the required fields. Then it will take a JSON file. Then it will return a sting with a status code 201, certain successfully, then 404, like that, guys. So we will go to this, the next part, next videos. So I will just cut the video here, guys. So in the next part is we will try to run all these uh, requests, I mean the endpoints. So see you guys there.